it to my channel i realize it's been a very long time since i uploaded anything to this channel so firstly i do want to apologize for that but this is a long awaited collection video one that's been asked by a few of you guys on twitter and um, in some of my comments on my other disney videos as you've probably guessed from the title this is the complete disney classics collection um, it is complete at the time of filming, um, I'm filming in April 2020 so I do realise that last year um, Frozen 2 got released out into the cinemas, whether they'll add that to the classic collections I don't know, um, if it does obviously I will do an updated video at a later date but for now this is the complete classics collection and I'm really excited to show you. So in at number one we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. As you can see, my classic collection has the lovely metallic um, slip cases. I really love these. I feel like it adds a little bit, um, a little bit more to the collection. So we've got the front here. We've got a couple of stills on the back, and then the actual DVD, um, the actual DVD cover is a slightly different design. So we've got. Snow White and the apple in the background. I've not watched this since I was about four or five. The, the idea of watching this again and the evil witch still terrifies me. She She's scarred me for life, I think. <laughs> Number two, here's a real boy. It's Pinocchio. Again, we're sticking with the blue colour for this one. But there's the front. And again, some stills on the back. And then the actual cover for this one is again slightly different. There we go. Number three, we are sticking with the blues. And it's the first one in the collection that I've not actually seen yet. It's Fantasia with the main man himself. <laughs> There's the front cover. The back, a little bit plain on this one. And then the actual DVD cover is that one. For number four, we're changing colours now. We're changing colours and we've got purple for Dumbo. There's the back. And then for this one, the actual DVD cover looks like that. We recently watched the live action of the new, the new Dumbo and I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, yeah, I won't be watching that again, but I'll certainly be watching this. Number five, we've changed colour again, <laughs> and we've got Bambi. I remember this one being really sad when I was little, so yeah, not really looking forward to watching this one again. But it's a nice gold colour for Bambi. And then the back, we've got a little couple of stills. And then for the front cover of this one. Number six, we're going back to the purples, and again, one that I've not seen yet, and I think this was the last one that I added to the collection, actually. Um, it's Saludos Amigos. I've probably butchered that completely, so I do apologise. But yeah, we're going purple for Goofy. There's the back. And the front cover of this actual DVD is that. For number seven, we're going back to gold. We've got the three caballeros and another one that I've not seen yet. <laughs> There's the front of that one. The back cover. And then the actual DVD cover. There we go. Number eight, we're going back to the purples. It's Make Mine Music. And you guessed it, another one I've not seen just yet. <laughs> Of course, we plan on watching all of these. Now I've got the complete collection. Um, we're going to have a Disney marathon one day. I've roped Scott into agreeing <laughs> to watch them all with me. I'm really interested to see how the animations changed over the years as well. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Number nine, we've gone back to the golds. We've got fun and fancy free. And you're probably sensing a theme. I have not seen this one either. <laughs> but uh, we've got Mickey there. On the front, the back design of this one, and the front cover of the actual DVD. 
For number 10, we're introducing a new colour. Um, we've gone for like a ready burgundy colour for this one. This is Melody Time. I really like this colour. There we go. And then the back design. And the DVD cover is very similar. We've used the same image on this one. Slightly different colour for number 11. It's kind of like a bluey purple. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. Again, another one that I've not seen. Um, the Adventures of Ichabod and Mr Toad. Yeah, it kind of looks a bit more like a royal blue on camera, but it is kind of like a bluey purple. It's really nice. There's the front and the back. And then the actual DVD cover, I think, is very similar. Yeah, we've used the same image for this one as well. Number 12, we've gone back to the blue, but it's like an icy blue. It's really nice. And we've gone for one that I've actually seen. Cinderella. <laughs> Absolutely love this film. Uh, so there's the front cover. The back cover. And the actual DVD. Again, I've seen the live action of this one as well. Um, I think it was the last one I'd seen um, before we watched Dumbo. Really liked it. They, I think they did a really good job with the live action of this. Sticking with the blues, we've got number 13. We've got Alice in Wonderland. And I think the live action of these ones, with uh, the Tim Burton ones, was probably the first live action Disney film remakes that we watched. Um, absolutely love them. I think they've done a brilliant job with Alice in Wonderland. Obviously, it's Alice looking, Alice through the Looking Glass. I think it's called. But yeah, I think they did a really good job. Number fourteen, we've introduced another colour. Finally, uh, we've gone for green this time for Peter Pan. I think this looks really good as a front colour. Look at that shine. <laughs> so that's the front, and we've got the back and. The actual DVD cover. I wonder if they're they doing a live action of this one. I know you've ha had Hook and everything like that back in the day but be interested to see how they do this one for live action. <laughs> Number 15 we've gone for an orangey gold. We've got mine and Scott's favourite film Lady and the Tramp. At the start of lockdown I signed up for the seven day free trial to Disney Plus so we could watch the live action. For me I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone because it is still relatively new and I realise not everyone would have signed up to watch um, it on Disney Plus but there is a couple of bits they've missed out. It doesn't ruin the film or at least it didn't for me but there is a couple of bits that are really good in the original that they missed out on the live action which I was a little bit gutted by but it's still a really good film. Still really good remake as well. So we've got the first, uh, the front cover there sorry the back cover with the iconic spaghetti moment there we go <laughs> and then of course the actual disney cover for number 16 we've got a new color we've got a pink and we've got sleeping beauty there's aurora really beautiful these metallic uh, covers there's the back and then the actual disney cover there we go for number 17, we've gone back to the icy blue. We've got 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> There's the front, the back, and the actual DVD cover. For number 18, we've introduced a new colour. This one is kind of like a burnt orange. It's really nice. We've got the sword and the stone. This is one that I remember watching very little bits of growing up. Um, so I've not actually watched the full thing, so it's not one of our classes I've seen, or I haven't. It's kind of in the middle. There's the front. There's the back. You'll probably notice a the theme against the ones I have seen and the ones I haven't as well. I was very uh, Disney princess orientated growing up. <laughs> Number 19, we've gone back to the greens, but a slightly darker green. That's right, you guessed it. The Jungle Book. Now we've got Mobley. On the front, the back with a few stills. I really like the um, drawn animation on this one as well. There we go. And the front of that one. Really like the live action of this one as well, actually. For number 20, we've got another purple one. We've got the Aristocats. 
probably one of my most favourite non-Disney princess films. I've got purple there in the back. And the front cover. For number 21, we've gone back to the greens. Quite a similar green to Jungle Book, actually. We've got Robin Hood. There's the front. The back. And the actual DVD cover. <laughs> For number 22, we're introducing a new colour. We've got yellow with Winnie the Pooh. Correct me, sorry. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Do apologise. Get it right, Jess. <laughs> this is the front cover. This little yellow guy holds a very special place in my heart. My nan absolutely loves Winnie the Pooh. So this, I'm going to enjoy watching and thinking of my nan. <laughs> so there's the front cover. Back cover for this one's very plain. We've got Winnie up here. We've got Piglet. And then we've got Piglet, Tigger and Eel up here. Very plain. No kind of still images on that one. And then I think... Well, no, they've not used the same picture on this one. But still keeping with the yellow theme. I can't wait to watch this. The number 23, slightly different um, colour of what we've already had. We've got another blue. It's really nice. But unfortunately, a film I cannot stand. I'm really sorry for those of you that like these films, this one and the sequel. But there's just something about it that I just, I don't like. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. But I just, I just wasn't a fan when I was little. So I'm really not looking forward to having to watch these again. But maybe being a little bit older, um, maybe it will change my opinion of the rescuers. The rescuers, or rather. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Did anyone else not like these? Let me know. Am I the only one? <laughs> There's the back. And then the actual cover. So they use the same artwork for this one. Number 24, we've gone back to the yellowy gold. We've got the fox in the hand. I remember this one being really sad as well. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of tissues <laughs> watching these. I'm going to be crying so much. We've got the front back and then the actual cover there we go 25 we've gone for another green um and again one that i've not seen the black cauldron I'm really looking forward to watching these ones that i've not seen before as well and the actual so it's very similar they've used the same picture of the main guy for number 26 we've gone back to the blues and we are keeping with the theme of yet again I've not seen this one, I'm really sorry, I'm a really rubbish Disney fan <laughs> uh, This one we've got Basil the Great Mouse Detective There we go, we've got Basil on the front There's the back And the front cover There we go Number 27 we've gone back to the orangey gold and I know I said Aristocats was probably my most favourite non-princess film, but this one. This one is so underrated. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's Oliver and Company. This cat, I'm not a cat person. I'm, I've, I've, I've always loved dogs more than cats, but this film. This little guy hits me right in the fields and I can't wait to watch this again. The songs in this are just brilliant as well. So there's the front. The back. And the actual DVD cover. Number 28, we've gone for a turquoise colour. You've probably guessed already what this one will be from that little clue. It's probably my all-time favourite Disney film. It's a little princess. <laughs> little princess? There's the little front. mermaid, you idiot. <laughs> There's the back. And the actual DVD cover. I will be honest, I'm not too sure how I feel about the remake of this one because I love the animation so much. I'm really worried um, that they're going to ruin the live, with the live action, but we'll see. 29, we've gone back to the blues and it's the sequel of the most hated Disney film in my opinion. It's The Rescuers Down Under. I'm not going to say too much about this. There's the front. <laughs> There's the back. And there's the actual 
Deep decoy. I think actually this is one of the very few sequels that are in the uh, classics collection. Not many of the others. Number 30, we've gone back to the golden yellow. It's Beauty and the Beast. We watched the live action of this at Christmas and I absolutely loved it. I think it's the best one so far. Absolutely loved um, Luminaire and Cogs. I think the voice actors did an incredible job. Emma Watson's dress was incredible. I just loved everything about it. Number 31, we've gone back to the purples. We've gone Aladdin. Again, one that I've kind of seen little bits of. Um, we watched the live action the other week while we had Disney Plus um, and really liked it. I think they did a brilliant job of the uh, live action. So I'll be looking forward to watching the animation all the way through. Again, it's not really one that I've seen or I've kind of seen little bits of. Um, so yeah, that's the front cover, the back cover and the actual DVD cover. Number 32, again, we've gone for the gold and yellow. We've got the Lion King now with Simba on the front. We watched the live action of this one in the cinema and it was just as sad, if not sadder than I remember. How I didn't cry, I don't know. But um, yeah, really loved the voices that they uh, chose for Pumba and um, Simone as well. That worked really well, says so the front. And there's the back and the actual DVD cover. 33, we're keeping with the golden yellows, is Pocahontas. Again, one of my most favourite Disney films. I really can't wait to watch this again. I wonder if they'll do a live action of this one. Does anyone know? Do they plan on doing a live action of Pocahontas? I'd really like to see that. There's the front. This little guy, these two. <laughs> so cute, I love them. There's the back. And there's the DVD cover. Number 34 is probably my favourite non-Disney non princess, non-animal um, Disney film. It's green and it's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I remember this being quite sad as well. I loved Esmeralda. Um, and the little, the little figures that he makes at the beginning of the film out of stone. I love them. He's so cute. Good old Quasimodo. There's the back. And there's the actual DVD cover. Number 35. Number 35. We've gone back for the orange gold. And again, one that I've not seen. Hercules. I've not seen this, but I remember having a Hercules game on the PlayStation <laughs> back in the 90s. And I absolutely loved that. So, um, yeah, kind of looking forward to seeing this one. This, by not watching this one, is probably the one that's most shocked my colleagues when I mentioned that I'd not seen this one. Um... They were all quite shocked, so I don't know. Have I missed out by not watching this? There's the front, back, and the actual DVD cover. Number 36, we've stuck with the green. Um, it's milk. Number 36, we've stuck with the green. It's kind of like a light pale green we've got Mulan and again one of my absolute favorites I'm really shocked that Scott's not seen this one I'm gonna be honest because he's very much into the whole martial arts and Japanese culture and, and things like that so I'm really surprised he's not seen this and I will be making him watch it and I'm really excited to see the live action I know with everything going on at the minute it's been delayed but I'm really looking forward to watching this the trailer looks amazing and um, I regularly belt out reflections when I'm in the house on my own. <laughs> so there's the front. There's the back. I absolutely love the cherry blossoms. Ah. And then the actual DVD cover. That's number 36. Number 37. Again, we're keeping with the green, but it's slightly kind of like a murky green. And again, one that I've not seen. Tarzan. Me and my sister watched a lot of George of the Jungle growing up, but I've not seen Tarzan, so yes, interesting. <laughs> so there's the front and the back, and then the actual DVD cover 
so they've kind of used oh, always got his mouth open on this one so it's slightly different kind of the same image on that one number 38 we've gone for a gold again and surprise surprise it's one i've not seen um it's fantasia 2000 <laughs> there's the back and the actual dvd cover Number 39, we're keeping with the yellow and gold. It's the Emperor's New Groove. And you guessed it, one I've not seen. <laughs> but again, I have, remember having this game on the PlayStation growing up, so I don't know why we had the game if I've never watched, never seen the film. But I, I remember quite a few funny catchphrases from the game, so I'm hoping they're in the film because it would be really funny to watch, to watch that and kind of get to know the characters a little bit more. So that's fun the back you will actually notice the later on into the collections we get um you'll notice a theme of how many i've not seen there's the actual dvd cover i think due to the time they were coming out and obviously i would getting older and things i just didn't really seek to find the new disney film and watch it perfect excuse now <laughs> Number 40, we've gone back to the blues. We've got Atlantis, The Lost Empire. And again, I remember having a game of this on the PlayStation, but I've not seen it. So I know very little about the, this film. Um, I think some, something's telling me it's quite a dark film. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think because I remember the game being quite dark. But we'll soon find out. <laughs> There's the actual DVD cover. Number 41, we're sticking with the blues. We've got Lilo and Stitch. And I didn't, I really didn't, until I started collecting the classics, I really didn't realise that this was part of the classics collection. So I remember watching the cartoon of this, um, like on a Saturday or Sunday morning. I can't remember what channel. Was it on like Channel 3 or ITV? Was it part of like CB, not CBBS, um, CITV? I don't know, I feel like it was on after or before like recess and stuff like that, I, I don't know, maybe I've dreamt that. I, I remember watching the cartoon on, on TV, so I know a little bit about Lilo and Stitch, but I've never actually watched the film. Um, so yeah. There's probably actually only a handful of these that I've actually seen. <laughs> Whoops, there's the actual DVD cover. Number 42, we've gone back to the purple. And we've got Treasure Planet, and I've just realised looking at this cover, it was actually this one and not Atlantis that we had on PlayStation. Um, it was this game. So again, one that I've not seen, but one I've played the game version of. There's the front. And there's the back. And the actual DVD cover. Very similar image. There. Number 43. Well, we're getting through these guys. It's kind of like a dark blue um it's brother bear and i've heard quite a lot about this one uh, but again i've not seen it <laughs> so sorry i'm so rubbish but yeah brother bear i've also recently been playing uh the disneyland game on xbox um where you kind of create yourself a character and then you explore walt disney world it's been amazing i really now want to go to disney um, but there's quite a lot, the part of the game that I'm on, there's quite a lot of reference to uh, Brother Bear at the minute and some of the characters in there, so it's making me really excited to watch this. Number 44, we've gone back to the yellow and gold, we've got Home on the Range, and I feel, I feel like there was a cartoon of this, or am I getting it mixed up with something else? I'm not, I'm not too sure, but again, it's one that I've not seen. Awkward. But there's the front. There's the back, and that's the actual DVD cover. I've not really seen this colour very much. We've gone for a, a, again a burnt orangey red, Chicken Little. <laughs> this guy is so cute. I can't wait to watch this. I know little bits about Chicken Little, but again, it's one I've not seen. I know. Um, I'm kind of sick of saying it myself. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> But um, yeah, I know little bits about Chicken Little. So this one, out of the ones that I've not seen yet, I'm probably most excited about. So that's the front. 
There's the back. And the actual DVD. 46, we've gone back to the yellows. Um, it's The Wild. I don't know anything about this film. Although there's a cute little koala on the back. There's the back cover. And the actual DVD cover. Number 47, we've gone back to the burnt orange. We've got Meet the Robinsons. Again, I know absolutely nothing about this. So I'm looking forward to seeing this one after Chicken Little. Obviously, I will be watching them in order, but this is probably my second most exciting film to watch. There's the back. And there's the actual DVD cover. Not many more guys, we're on the home stretch. We're on number 48, uh, we've gone for like an orangey colour for this one, it's Bolt. I have seen this one, I have seen this one and it's brilliant. The little hamster, um, <laughs> it's so funny, it's probably my favourite character out of this film, the little hamster. There's the front, there's the back, and the actual DVD cover for this one, there we go. Okay, we're doing well. <laughs> Number 49, we've gone back to the green. It's The Princess and the Frog. And again, one that I have actually seen. But um, I, I, I was very hungover around a friend's house watching this. This and Cinderella were on repeat um, for quite a few hours because we just couldn't be bothered to get out of bed. But um, yeah, I really like this one. Very different, very different, but I did really enjoy this one. Um, so yeah, The Princess and the Frog. I've just met Tiana actually in my uh, Disney game. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> There's the extra DVD cover. Only a few more guys. Uh, we've gone back to the pink. It's number 50. We've got Tangled. And again, one that I have actually seen. <laughs> I did really like this one actually. Um, so it's very different obviously. You can tell the animation has changed throughout uh, the journey of the Disney classics. Obviously, we're not so much drawn animation now. Um, so, very different from how it started. But um, still keeping the Disney magic alive through this and the uh, Princess and the Frog. I really like this one. Number 51, we've gone for a red. Me and Scott absolutely love these films. It's Wreck-It Ralph. If you've not seen these and you're a gamer, then definitely check them out. Um, really good, really good. Very retro. We went to a retro games fair um, at the beginning of March and um, there was a little Wreck-It Ralph arcade machine to play on. So we played on that, it's really good. <laughs> There's the actual DVD cover. Number 52, we've gone back to the icy blue and I'm gonna say it's probably one, in my, in my opinion, probably the most overrated film. It's Frozen. I love Olaf. I like the idea about the story, that there's no man saving the princess and, and all that, but I don't know, It's it's just not for me. Even if I do occasionally belt out, let it go. <laughs> there we go. And then the actual DVD. Number 53, we've gone back to the reds. We've got Big Hero 6. And this was another one that both me and Scott really enjoyed. Um, I can't wait to watch this one again. Baymax is... Uh, so cute and I just want to give him a squeeze. So there's the front, the back, and the actual DVD cover. Look at him! He's so cute. Number 54, we've gone for an orange. We've got Zootropolis. Um, and yeah, one that I've not seen. But I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. I've started playing a little Disney Collects top trump cards on my phone and some of the characters that are on the cards for this film look so cute um so yeah i can't wait to watch this one so that's the front 
I really like the orange on this. Look at that shine. It's the back. And then the actual DVD cover. Very different. And the second to last we've got 55 and we've gone back to the icy blue. One that I've not seen but I know a lot about and I, I kind of know all the songs already. Um, I don't know how but we've got Moana. I've heard such good things about this film. I found it's amazing so I really can't wait to watch this one. Here's the back. And there's the front. And then finally, we have number 56, slightly darker blue, we've got Ralph Breaks the Internet. Absolutely brilliant film. Honestly, if you've not seen them, please check them out. They are so good. <laughs> There's the front and the back. This one was really hard to find in a shiny case, really hard. And uh, there's the actual DVD cover. So there we go guys, that is the complete Disney Classics collection. I hope you enjoyed. Apologies for the really long video. I tried not to waffle too much. Um, but I think you can agree with me that they look absolutely amazing on the shelf behind me. All their different colours. That's one of the reasons I decided to collect the slipcase covers rather than like just the normal covers and the steel books even though the steel books look amazing and I don't know it's not a collection I need to start even though they do look great I think I will stick with the shiny covers there is a couple that are scratched um my Dumbo Snow White and I think the Lion King one's quite scratched it is something you have to take care of taking them off the shelf putting them back on taking the covers on and off they do get marked really really easily um so i will be replacing a couple but i think i think i'll wait a little while um before i do that as i mentioned at the start of the video this is the complete collection at the date of filming i'm filming april 2020 of course last year frozen 2 came out in the cinema whether they'll add that to the collection i don't know if they do of course i'll I'll add it and as the collection grows I'll do an updated video if you guys enjoyed. Of course if you did enjoy please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Let me know in the comments your favourite Disney films, which one you've seen, which one I haven't seen but you highly recommend. I'd really look, uh, be interested to know that and of course as always do be sure to hit the subscribe button. I do upload to this channel every Sunday at 10 a.m. Be sure to check out my blog, that's all back up and running now as well, and I really appreciate you heading on over there and going and having a look, maybe leave a little comment on one of my blog posts on there. Um, yeah, any questions about the collection, do let me know, pop them in the comments, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.